Hey guys, so I'm doing a tutorial on a smoky brown eye look. This look you can wear with any eye color, any outfit color. It's a great versatile look that you can customize for every day, for work, for school, for going out even at night. So I'll be showing you how to achieve this and then also I'll be giving you a little review on the eyeshadow I used to create this. So let's get started. So here's the eye look that we will be creating right now and I'm just showing you a close up so let's get started. Starting off you want to use a amazing eyeshadow primer, you're going to put it all over the lid as well as underneath. And using this Sedona Lace Matte Palette I'm going to be using the off white in the very first top corner there with a medium to large eyeshadow brush. So you're going to use this color under your brow and in the inner corner of the eye. We're basically going to be working with the lightest colors and then slowly progressing to the darkest colors. Alright, so next we're going to do a medium matte brown. Do a medium tone according to your own skin tone. I chose that one with the blending brush. And you're going to feel where you feel your eye naturally going back, which is your crease. So you're going to take your blending brush and you're going to go back and forth in your crease. Doing this step next really helps with no matter what eye shape you have you can actually figure out where to place your eyeshadow so just go ahead and blend that all in your crease back and forth as you see next we're doing an eyeshadow for the lid so I'm choosing a nice golden tone this one you want to make sure is lighter than the previous crease color we used so I'm using this lighter golden color and I'm going to pat it onto my lid to get more pigment blending it up just a little bit into the crease there so now we're going to use a cream liner. This one's from Stila Smudge Pots and this color is a nice bronzy color. You can use brown, just want to keep it in the smoky brown colors, not black. Unless you want a really dramatic look, you could do black. But I'm using this bronze one. First you're going to use it like eyeliner and you're going to put it all the way across and then you're going to also put it a little bit going three-fourths the way as bottom liner as well, connecting it to the top liner. Now I'm going to show you a trick by using this cream shadow in the corner of your eye as well as your crease, we're going to build pigment to create a more dramatic effect which will transfer really nicely into also an evening wear eye. You can also just stop at doing the liner part, but this trick is definitely worth seeing. So just go ahead and take the cream eyeliner and you're going to go place it in your corner and then you're going to place a little bit into your crease blending it slightly. Don't worry about if it looks a little bit messy because we're going to put eyeshadow on top. Now we're going to take a darker brown, the darkest brown we're going to use, eyeshadow with a medium eyeshadow brush and then you're going to apply this brown on top of the cream liner that we applied earlier. The cream liner plus the eyeshadow pigment is going to create a really strong bond so you will not have to worry about your smoky brown eye getting messy. It's going to look the same all day long. So go ahead and apply it and also put a little bit on the bottom lid just to give a little bit more of a smoky effect. And then you're going to take your blending brush and you're going to blend it all together really nicely so it looks nice and neat. Alright, so next is mascara. So I'm using my favorite mascara ever. It's the Yves Saint Laurent one. It's kind of fancy, of course, a little bit pricey, but this stuff is amazing. Anywho, if you are also, just a tip, if you're going to be wearing this look all day and through the night as well, I would recommend getting a waterproof mascara. There's a waterproof version of this one or there's plenty great ones you can try out. Alright, for the last step, we're using some corner lashes with the Black Duo Glue. If you already seen some of my videos, you'll know corner lashes are my favorite effect because they're easy, you cut a full lash in half and you pop it in the corner. This will give you a nice little bit more dramatic look throughout the day. You set it in there and then that's the final step for this smoky brown look. I hope you guys enjoy. And I will next be reviewing this actual eyeshadow palette that we use. The palette that we use is the Dona Lace Palette and you will see it on this website here. It is an 88 matte eyeshadow palette for about 19 bucks, so that's pretty budget friendly for all these colors which is great. You have neutral colors as well as those bright funky colors so you can really experiment. 
it says it's all matte, but I did notice some of the shadows are satin finish. Um, and, but one great thing about this is I noticed there was no fallout while we were doing the eyeshadow, which is pretty awesome. So you'll save some cleanup. The pigment probably isn't as good as some other palettes I've had, but it is pretty decent as you can see. So overall, let's give this palette, I'm going to say, a 3.5 out of 5 stars.